Hi everyone, this is Eric, and today I want to talk about a gift that I made for my dad. This is kind of like a desk trinket, it's an electric pencil sharpener. So we started out with a traditional old school pencil sharpener, and one of the hand crank ones. You can see the hand crank in the back. And these actually work surprisingly well compared to some of the newer ones. And then we decided to use an electric motor to somehow convert circular motion into circular motion again with a hand crank. But we tried to make as little modifications to the puzzle sharpener as possible. So we could have done it the easy way where we would just like stick a motor right here and then rip this part off and put like a gear here and another gear here, right? Direct drive, spinning motor here, gear here. But we decided to make it a little more interesting. So this is kind of like a train linkage thing. So yeah, I'll show you kind of the motion. It goes like that, it keeps going like that. So the original idea, which turned out to be a little bit too complicated or overcomplicated, was instead of just having this single point that pivoted back and forth, we were gonna have actually an entire rod, kind of like a piston that moved back and forth. And then this link would connect to this end of the rod, and this would connect to this end of the rod. But then my cousin brilliantly realized that you only need a single point. So this is the final mechanical linkage design. So as you can see, it consists of, here, let me turn this around. It consists of, uh, I guess, four links. We have the hand crank right here the motor lever arm thing, and then these two links. Um, so in order to get this linear sliding rail thing, we actually took a pipe, I think it's steel, and I hacksawed a slot into it, which took forever. But that was just two hacksaws all the way along the length of the pipe. And then this like piece that's in there, we took a rod that fit well inside of this pipe, and I drilled a hole in it for this peg, and then I glued it all together so that this rod sl slides well in between the um, pipe, and I greased that up. So then this is these are just aluminum um, bars, and most of it is put together with nuts. Um, one thing we had to do to get rid of vibration and just help the whole thing run smoother is add counterweights. So you can see this crank only goes halfway around. It's you know, only half the diameter. So we added a counterweight right here um, with a couple uh, steel slabs to counterweight the crank. And then same thing over here. We used um, a nut to counterweight the weight. So this just helps it run a little bit smoother, especially for when it's at this midpoint right here. It helps it get around the, the edge. So like, Without the weight, it probably wouldn't get around as well. So, um, and then originally we had a direct drive, but then we decided it would be better to have a gear reduction. I think this is a four to one ratio. So we moved the motor down, um, and now it works a lot better, it has a little more torque. So this is just uh, some RC car gears. You can see we used no bearings. It is strictly super glue and nuts and washers so everything here was super glued because the vibration made it come apart really easily so super glued super glued super glued super glued everything super glued so yeah um here you can see everything was just kind of screwed into the board these are just more rods holding it up super glued into the base here's a cool toggle switch a little on off label um, this is just a drill motor, brush or DC brushed d drill motor. I think I got it off eBay for ten dollars a while back. Um, other than that, most of the parts I already had. I just had to buy the switch from Home Depot and the motor. The motor right now is running off of my Samsung Galaxy cell phone charger, which is five volts. 5.3 volts, 2 amps, which seems to be pretty much good enough. I ordered another transformer so that I could get it to 6 volts and 3 amps, 
But basically, the more volts, the faster the motor spins, the more amps it can put out, the more torque it can give. So, yeah, that is the ridiculously overcomplicated electric pencil sharpener. Now I'll show you guys how it works. Okay, we're going to put it to the test. Here's a pencil that's not very sharp. And there is the final product.